Hi guys, long time no see. This one is just gonna be a one-off reading vlog of my most, probably my most anticipated read, which is Emily Henry's read. Uh, Emily Henry's new book, Funny Story. People are really, like people that have gotten arcs for this say that they really enjoy it. And so my rankings for Emily Henry books are, let's see if it changes at the end of this video. But first, my favorite Emily Henry book is Happy Place. I reread this this month, like I think like a few books ago, and it still holds up as much as I loved it. Um, I don't, I didn't cry as much as I did the first time because I knew it was happening, but like I still like, I still cried. I think that's why I love miscommunication, like angst like that, because like they're each having their own anxieties about their relationship, but it's not vocalized out. They're so in their head about it, and so when it does come out and they like finally like put to rest like what they actually are feeling, it just makes the relationship like feel so much better after that. <laughs> so I love Happy Place. Second is Beach Read. I really enjoyed Beach Read. Um, I, I think this is my second Emily Henry book that I actually like fully read. I just love Beach Read. And so when, before Happy Place came out, I reread Beach Read before Happy Place came out. And so I'm holding that tradition up. So I'm gonna reread my favorite Emily Henry book before a new Emily Henry book comes out. So that's why I reread, ow. So that's why I reread Happy Place. Ow, that really hurt. Next, I liked Book Lovers more than I liked People Were Meet on Vacation. I just like, I liked, I don't know, I think it was fun. They were both literary agents and like, they were just both in like the book atmosphere. So it made it so much fun. I didn't really like Nora's sister. Um, that's what I, that's all I remember. But yeah, Charlie Hall, he was all right, whatever. And then Poppy and Alex. I really do want to reread this one. It was just my least favorite. There's like a fan cast of Callahan Skogman for Alex. And so I want to reread that picturing Callahan Skogman. So yeah, here's my ranking of Emily Henry books. And I'm gonna go take you along to get Happy Place. I'm also craving a kava blueberry soda. So we're gonna get that. Let's go. Here it is. I have it. I feel like no one talks about how pretty the spine of this book is. Here are Emily Henry's other spines. Like, these ones are pretty, but get ready. Oh my god. It's so cute. Wow. Wow. Okay, now I have to pick out some tabs. I got... I started reading. I got onto page two and I was underlining something and I was like, oh yeah. I have to get some tabs. So let's pick them out. The naked hardcover is pink. Ooh, there's blue. I don't think I have a blue like this. So these are the colors we're going for. These three. Oh my gosh, I have to film my wrap up next week. This is just going on my head. So I guess I'm gonna finish. My last exam is the first, May 1st. Um, so I'll probably film my wrap up that day. And then so I can just take it home and edit it because I'm going back home. I actually have to do some work and then I'm gonna start reading. I'm hoping to, I want to get a li bit, a big chunk of it done. I don't know how many pages it is. 86. Henry, Henry stack going back. I got my soda. The blue, oh, the blueberry kava soda. I'm gonna check if that's like a. Th it's in like factor sodas. Marie root. Oh, okay. Wait, marine. Main root. <laughs> what? Oh my god. The blueberry soda it comes in bottles and it just shows the four pictures and it said $40 and I was like, no way. But 12 for 40. That is kind of a lot too. Do they have cans? So, <laughs> this is like the whole thing. It's like they're trying to be sustainable. Okay, I'm over it now. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, horrible lighting in here. Let me, let me, let me take off the blinds. Is that better? <laughs> it's not better. It's whatever. I'm about um, 158 pages in. That's not about, that's exact. I'm 158 pages in. Probably, probably 42-ish percent. I don't have my phone, so I can't, I can't. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the math because I've actually, JK, I didn't want to do it. So 
My guess is 42% into the book. I'm really liking it. I think it's really cute. One thing that I've been seeing about this book, it was just like, it was one video and it was just like Miles, the main guy is a little bit of like, he's a bit of a loser and he's also a bit of a dork, but I don't think he's a bit of a loser. I think he's just a normal guy and I really enjoy it. So I really like Miles. I think, I don't know, he just, he's really like down to earth and I just really like that about him. Um, I also really like Daphne. I don't think I like them more than Wynn and Harriet right now. I feel like there's like emotional depth, but like we're not really like seeing that. It's probably just because Daphne and Miles are, they're just getting to know each other a lot, a, like a little bit now because basically the premise of the story is Daphne, she was with this guy named Peter. They, they were engaged. Peter has a childhood best friend named Petra and Petra was dating Miles. The whole Daphne and Peter relationship, they were like, oh yeah, Petra and Peter are just like, they're childhood best friends. You don't have gotta worry about that. Fast forward, Peter and Petra are together now. So Miles and Daphne are separated from the partners. Daphne moves into Miles' apartment because he needs help with the rent and then she's got nowhere else to stay. So, okay, Peter and Petra are getting married. And so Miles and Daphne are SVP um, to go to the wedding. And then Daphne slips that uh, her and Miles just happen to be dating. So that's the story. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's fun. I think it's it's very rom commy and I kind of I knew that going into it that this is more of a more of a, a rom commy book than Happy Place. But yeah, I'm still really enjoying it. I like the writing. But 157 pages in, Miles has had a beard this whole time, and like I'm not really like picturing the beard, but like every time it's mentioned, I'm just like oh the beard. But the beard is finally gone. <laughs> the beard's gone. I actually cheered but yeah i have another hour to read and then i have to get to class and then but it's my last day of classes and then after that i'm probably gonna read the rest of the night and do my work tomorrow so yeah i'm putting it off to the last minute just so i can read funny story because i'm really liking it and i just ugh, it's gonna be crazy that like i'm gonna read the first this emily henry book so quickly and then i gotta wait a whole other year for the next emily henry book so yeah i only have one tab so far so i made that whole like big like scene about getting tabs but um yeah here's a quote it's it's not like anything about the relationship it's just more like daphne is a character so this is out of context not a big reader i know that's a possibility i say and yet i truly can't fathom it what do you like about it he says everything i say his mouth curls fascinating i like that it feels like i can live as many lives as i want i say and it just it's just so cute it's just like yeah it's just so fun being a reader so good on emily henry she she was hiding she was hiding miles's beard so i didn't know this going in hmm herm i actually can't get over the spine of this book it's so good made my co made a coffee so i can pick myself up it's basically done the ice is melted i'm gonna get back to reading guys i can't see i'm not gonna put my glasses on but i'm all ready for bed it's 10 45 it's 10 45 right now i'm about to do some reading um i left off on page 234. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight, and if I do finish it tonight, then what a feat. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to get through a lot of it right now. I'm all showered, I'm ready for bed. Time to get to reading. We're getting to drama territory, and not like actually, but like plot-wise, like pacing-wise, I'm expecting a third act something to happen, so I'm prepared for that. What if he's written my birthday only in my mind? One thing about me is that my hands get so sweaty. Like, out when, like in the daytime, my hands get so sweaty. But every time I like get inside my bed, my hands get so dry. And I just like slather them in lotion so many times like I probably like by the time i'm in bed by the t and then the time i actually like knock out and go to sleep i probably put lotion on my hands five times look at my captain america shirt okay it looks fine guys i'm so blind that i can't see the viewfinder from here and i had to go on my phone and zoom in to see if i'm clear enough
Emily Henry is sick. She's sick in the head. Why is she making me cry? <laughs> I've got like 60 more pages -ish. Can I speak? I've got like 60 more pages. I think I will finish it tonight. Okay, I'm not, I'm being dramatic, but I'm also an empath. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how I'm supposed to root for Miles. <laughs> I tr like Emily Henry has to make him like what what could he do what could he do guys I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not seeing how Emily Henry can bring this all together again I'm truly not understanding it I'm really confused because why would he lie then my head hurts I just don't get it wait what okay Slow down. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying slow down, acting like they're talking. I just have to read slower. <laughs> oh, Good end. She's done it again. I just don't know when I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna sleep on it. And my tears. So I cried so much for no reason. There was a reason and I felt it in my bones, but ultimately there was no reason. You know what I mean? Oh, time check. I don't know what time I started. I think it was like 1040 and it's 1240 now. So hi guys. It is Wednesday the 24th. I finished funny story last night and you saw my reaction. I like don't know. like something just hit me inside of here. And like, I, I like, I feel like I didn't expect it to hit me so hard, but it really got me. And I just felt so bad for Daphne, especially in this like third act, whatever it was. In the third act conflict, it was just like so much. I just could not, I could not get away from the feels. Um, that happened, I had to sleep on it. It is a slower build up into the relationship and the dynamics between Daphne and Miles because they are like strangers. And so like, they're like, they learn to become friends and then they become lovers. And it's just like that like aspect since it's like forced proximity because they're like both living in the same apartment and then so like they're just like always together and so it's like that aspect and it adds to a lot of the tension that happens between miles and daphne back to miles being a loser i don't think he was a loser um whoever said that on tiktok don't remember i really enjoyed miles and i really liked daphne and i liked I liked the conflict i liked i was really worried about like how emily henry was going to redeem what happened in the conflict and I think she did it in a way that it was like right for the characters but it didn't like tug on my heartstrings as much as I was expecting it to especially after how much that the actual conflict destroyed me and like the information we got from the shock of the conflict destroyed me I don't think like the resolution of that conflict was my favorite ever but yeah it wasn't my favorite ever and like okay one thing I know about Emily Harney is I really love how she writes like these love proclamations because in Beach Read it's like okay, when I watch you sleep he says shakily I feel overwhelmed that you exist. Okay and then another one because I know no matter how long I get to love you it will be okay because I know no matter how long I get to love you it will be worth it. What? Can I read? <laughs> because I know no matter how okay. because I know no matter how much okay because I know no matter how long I get to love you it will be worth it. It will be okay. <laughs> this, is my, this is my like whole hobby and I can't do it. Okay because I know no matter how long I get to love you it will be worth whatever comes after. I can't know it, but I believe it. I see it. Let me prove I'm right. Let me prove I can love you forever. Like these like love proclamations are so good. And let me show you some um, of Happy Place, which is my favorite Emily Henry book. Um, this one's like a little different because they already knew they previously loved each other because they were together for so long. And then it's just like a second chance rekindling of that same love. This is, yeah, this is top tier Emily Henry book. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, Happy Place is still on the throne um happy place is still on the throne okay this is this is when this is when i'm taking out a lot of it i spent my whole life chasing things and people who can make me feel i matter and then i met you and i didn't feel so lost or aimless because even if there was nothing else for me it felt like loving you was what i was made for and it didn't matter what anyone thought of me it didn't matter if i didn't have any other big plans for myself as long as i got to love you i will always love you he says fiercely that's the point harriet it's the only thing that will ever come naturally to me the thing i don't have to work at i loved you all the way across the fucking country and at my darkest on my worst days i still love you more than i have ever loved anything else 
I have to find it. Where's my favorite quote in this book? Oh my god, this clip is gonna be so long of just me trying to find it. Finally. Okay. How many universes do you think we're together in? The higher than e either of us can count. No, he says quietly, in every universe it's you for me, even if it's not me for you. I just love that, like, I just love, like, the, like, just the thought of, like, being together with somebody in every universe. It's, like, so good to me. What am I saying? <laughs> what was I talking about? I, like, love Emily Henry's, like, proclamations of love in her books and, like, the quotes that she does it with. I just didn't feel that, like, I didn't feel that, like, ugh, I want to, like, rip my heart out in these love proclamations, but, like, that's catered to me and I just didn't feel, find them as, like, good as the other ones, but for these characters, they're so, like, for them, they're, like, catered for them, and I can't be, like, angry that it's not catered for me because it's, it's for them. They just didn't hit home as much, but they hit home for those characters, and so I can't really, like, be like critical about that but because i like i just really like emily henry's writing but like i know in my heart it's not a five stars my rating that i've set her on right now at this second could change at the end of the month it could change in the future but right now this is a four this is a four stars i really liked the friendship blooming and you can like see that chemistry like blossoming in their like interactions with each other because at first they're very standoffish towards each other they're just like yeah we're both in a shitty situation but like seeing them come together and become friends really liked that i think the emotional aspects of this book were super strong something that people really didn't care for too much in happy place was the friendship like and like all like the extra side characters but i really enjoyed them and i feel like they make and drive the, the plot forward without them they're it's not as good i feel the same way about betrayed and like i really liked the side characters in this because they felt like it just felt more real than just like a focus a story focused on january and gus and same for win and harriet but i feel like this is why i love these two Hen emily henry's books so much and there were also like friends and like like other characters in this book that help the plot move and without them i don't think this book would be as highly rated for me at least so i really like I really like when Emily Henry puts side characters in because people want me during vacation. I feel like it might just be me not re remembering right or like not reading it in a while, but it was just mostly Poppy and Alex and they were like the core friend groups because they are like, they like to travel e with each other. So that's what like this whole book is about. And there's no like other side characters that are really, that frequent the book. And so I just feel like I just didn't really care about it that much. And I don't really remember <laughs> book lovers that much either but I didn't like Nora's sister. So that's all I remember, like one side character. You grow to like Nora's sister in the end, but like at first I was just like, guys, I don't really care. So Emily Henry ranking time. We have first, Happy Place, still on top. I don't know if another an Emily Henry book can top it, but here we are, Happy Place. Next I have Beatred. I still really like Beatred. And I think like, I just look, like, combined with like the storyline, the plot, the friendships that I really like, and January and Gus, that's still number two. Third is Funny Story. Yeah, I really like this ranking because I just don't really remember these two as much as those. So, Funny Story is third. Next is Book Lovers, and then last is People Will Meet on Vacation. Here's my ranking of Emily Henry books. There's the list. There's my list. Thank you guys so much for watching my thoughts on Funny Story. I really enjoyed this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed me watching me cry and um, fangirl over Miles and Daphne. So comment down below your favorite Emily Henry books and your ranking of all the Emily Henry books you've read. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.